He made $35,000 a week. I was an ex-drug dealer, part of my life I'm not proud of. But paid the price, locked up for 10 years in federal prison. We looked at it as a meal ticket. When he got out, celebrity chef Jeff Henderson couldn't secure the bag he needed to start his own business. But that's about to change. The Shade Room is on political watch, traveling with Vice President Kamala Harris on Air Force Two. We need to reform the system. As she just announced that people with criminal records now have a fighting chance for a government coin to start a small business. It's a game changer. But why now? We're asking questions, her history in law enforcement, and why it's been a years long fight to get people leaving prison back on track. I am Kamala Harris, and this is a special TSR Investigates. Vice President Kamala Harris and her team wanted to show us better than they could tell us. Saturday, January 27th, the Shade Room got exclusive access on Air Force Two as the Vice President made her way from Los Angeles to Las Vegas for a major announcement. What we are doing is ensuring that the millions of Americans who have served time or have a criminal record will soon be able to receive small business loans. That's the $40 billion that the federal government offers in loans every year under the Small Business Administration. But up until now, the money has been hard to get for a certain demographic. The Shade Room got a chance to speak with the vice president one-on-one -on -one about it. We have overly incarcerated specific communities, in particular the black community, the brown community, poor people, for offenses that were nonviolent and for years incarcerated. And the numbers show it. The unemployment rate for people released from prison, 27%. And up until now, there were strict rules preventing them from getting small business loans. These were some of the disqualifications. If you're incarcerated, if you've been adjudicated for a felony in the last five years, if you're currently on probation for a felony or misdemeanor, if you're a parolee, or someone who has pending charges. They had to check box and they, didn't, they could not qualify for these loans. So today I announced we're getting rid of that and making sure that now millions of Americans who have a criminal conviction, who have served time, will not be prevented from applying for and receiving a small business loan just because they were convicted or have a criminal record. We followed Vice President Harris as she toured the Chef Jeff Project. You may have seen Chef Jeff Henderson on TV before after not only a stint on the Food Network, but he recently started the Chef Jeff Project four years ago. It's a culinary arts and leadership academy for teens and young adults in Las Vegas. But well, we also teach them powerful life skills, how to build a brand, how to walk, how to talk. We spoke to him through Zoom after the Vice President's visit. He says that it hits close to home as someone with a criminal past himself. How difficult was it to start over? The biggest challenge I had and most other guys had is adapting to a new world. The world has changed. I was an ex-drug dealer, part of my life I'm not proud of. And I got caught up in a federal indictment in 1988 and was sentenced to 10 years in life. So I wound up serving nearly 10 years in the federal system. I went to school. I earned my high school diploma and um, I graduated in, in prison and I learned to cook. I learned to bake in prison. And so I had a dream to one day become a chef when I got released in 1996. He got that opportunity working his way up in the hospitality industry, becoming a top chef with Marriott Hotels and the Ritz Carlton before his big break as the first black executive chef at the Bellagio and Caesars Palace. When I walked out of prison, I always had a vision to open up my own shop. But being a, a convicted felon, I couldn't get access to loans from regular banks, SBA or anyone. So I had to work hard, you know, for about 20 years, you know, uh, uh, saving money uh, to be able to launch my own businesses. He says the silver lining is that young people training under him won't have to do that anymore. And this is why this new provision in SBA loan is a game changer, especially for organizations like us that's boots on the ground and working to uh, change the course of these kids' lives because our number one mission is to disrupt the neighborhood to prison pipeline. We asked Vice President Harris, why now? We need to think about doing things differently. 
including getting people who have who have a, 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 not had opportunities before opportunities to get on the right track. It's why she launched a back on track program as district attorney of San Francisco almost 20 years ago. This allowed first time drug offenders to get a high school diploma and a job instead of prison time. But it's also no secret too that Vice President Harris has been under scrutiny before, not only as a DA, but once as California's Attorney General and her approach to criminal justice. DAs around the country looked at me and said, what are you doing? That's not how you're supposed to do things. I said, no, this is exactly what the problem has been. Many people saw you as the top prosecutor, yeah. the top law enforcement official, but many people say, you know, she also was there to, to enforce the law and to get people in prison who are not doing the right things. Most of us would agree if one human being kills another human being, if a woman is raped, if a child is molested, there should be consequence for that. And people should have to go to jail for that. And we need to agree that, for example, the idea that people would be spending these extraordinary number of years in prison for a drug crime, especially, I mean, you know, for example, our administration has taken the position that nobody should have to go to jail just for smoking weed. And sadly, too many people over the history of our criminal justice have gone to jail for smoking weed. Um, we need to reform the system. The SBA loan program has seen 16 million new business applications since the Biden-Harris administration took office. If you need that money, it is available. You can apply. We have a link on our website at theshaveroom.com. For TSR Investigates, I'm Justin Carter. Hello roommates and thank you for watching our YouTube channel. Do you want more TSR Investigates? Be sure to subscribe and check us out at theshaderoom.com.